Hi everyone. My repertoire against the anti-Berlin has been doing well lately. I was black in this rapid game. We played the Rui Lopez and knight f6 is the Berlin defense. So a common move here is to castle, that's the main line, but some players play d3 to support the e4 pawn, and that's known as the anti-Berlin. Okay, I like to play bishop c5 to activate that bishop. c3 is a common move to expand in the center. And then the most common response here is simply to castle, but I prefer to play d5 and open up the position. All right, um, there are different moves white can make here, but it seems that I've been tempting my opponents to play knight takes e5. That's the most common reply that I see. Grabbing a pawn and it looks like white is threatening to take twice on the c6 square, which is only defended uh, one time by that pawn. However, it's a bit of a trap to take twice on that square. So what I like to do here is castle. And my development is much better. I have three minor pieces out. He has only two. And I've already castled. Okay, so you can take on c6 here, but you probably should not take twice on c6. My opponent decides to play knight take c6, b takes c6, and bishop takes c6, ending up with a bishop on the c6 square. Another way to try that is to capture with the bishop first and end up with a knight on the c6 square, in which case I like to play queen to d6. Okay, either way, black is going to get a very big initiative and have a huge lead in development. Okay, but the game proceeded like this, and I had this move prepared, bishop takes f2 check. Okay, and my opponent, let's see how long he thought of what to do here. His clock is at 5 minutes and 16 seconds. We had a 5 second increment. And he only took 4 seconds, or I guess 9 seconds, to decide to refuse taking that bishop. I guess he trusted me, or he quickly saw the consequences. So I played this before where opponents have taken the bishop, and my point is you get in this knight check, king falls back somewhere, and you threaten mate on f2, and you fork the bishop at the same time. So you win the bishop back, you've misplaced the white king, and your development is much better. And so you have very big compensation for um, a gambited pawn. Okay, anyway, my opponent decided not to take the bishop, and I hadn't faced this before, so I took quite a while to decide what to do, and I couldn't find a, a strong uh, continuation here. Uh, I considered the move d takes e4, um, but I eventually settled on saving my rook with rook to b8. The engine turned out to like the move d takes e4 and just sack the rook and then play the bishop back to b6, maybe d4 to block that diagonal following the engine's best line here. Bishop to a6 check, king to g1, and then queen takes the bishop. And it says black has a 2.3 uh, advantage in this position. Um, he just has a very good attack for his sacrificed material. Okay, but uh, rook to b8 was okay. It still preserves about a, a one-point advantage for black. But now my opponent blunders with bishop takes d5. He really doesn't have time to take that pawn. Um, his king is in danger, and he's got no development. So... The engine suggests he does have to take that bishop, which he probably should have taken in the first place, and just face this type of position again here. Okay, and white can even drive the knight back, get in a, a bit of an initiative here. 
This is the line the engine suggested. Okay, so that, that might have been the way to play, and it gives uh, white about a 0.7 advantage. But instead, my opponent couldn't resist that pawn on d5, um, in which case I played my bishop back to b6. The engine said the better move was to play that bishop to h4. Okay, but I did have to move that bishop now since the bishop has been moved off of the c6 square and I wouldn't have that same tactic after uh, he takes my bishop and knight to g4. I wouldn't have the queen to f3 tactic. So I move the bishop back to b6. Now bishop to g5 makes my life easy. Um, the engine says this position is about 3.1 in, in black's favor. Um, and suggests white should play queen to f3 here. Um, but I think uh, this move is about equivalent in score, but it makes my life really easy because it makes my plan very clear now. I have a very easy tactic. Okay? I played knight takes d5. Um, he took my queen, and then I forked his king and queen. Okay, He played king to e2. And then I took the queen. I'm going to be up material here, but the engine suggested even stronger was bishop to g4 check first, and then taking the queen. And I think the point here is black has a lot of threats, bishop to e3 check, uh, followed by a rook takes b2 threat. Black can pick up that bishop at any time. His knight is already defended. And uh, the engine suggests white has to play rook takes d1 there. Okay, but my move uh, was fine too. It still preserves a 3.7 advantage. Um, and then he tried uh, bishop takes c7. Um, and then I play bishop to g4 check. And he's got to move his king out of the way. And I'll take his bishop on c7 in the next move. And I'll be up two pieces. So my opponent resigned. So 14 move game. I was happy with my opening preparation. All right, thanks for watching.